Swallen going up against the Greensboro native. I get it in the center of the pit. I think you, you, you know, pretty much have dominated. And I thought that was a great life lesson. Then is aggressive. Very good on the ball. Finding Swollen. Low pocket. Roll to Mitchell. Can he beat? Dealing with some of the frustrations during warm-ups for him. <laughs> we are creatures of habit. Cooper Flax takes it forward. Mitchell. First round. I don't, I don't understand it. Well played by Swallen. Wake Forest looking for an extra one. Slingshotting ahead. Oh, good play by... I tell you, Jake Swallen. In the last few minutes against Maryland earlier on in the season as well. Advantage given and Wake Forest attacking and looking for another. Jose Perez to Sydney Paris. Off of Sonder Road. This is good from Jake Wallen. Shaking and moving around a couple defenders. Well, they got a one goal cushion. Hoping to add on to it. But it has been something special. It's a epic showdown here. Look at that vision. Forbes going to have decides to head it across the 18. Just get it out, especially when you're in pressure like that. I know. Good job by Swan to get it out reversed. Especially at the pro level. And Swallowed. Oh, Woo. through the wickets at nutmeg. Take some time to talk to him, even with his busy. And once again, Wake Forest will try to orchestrate another attack. Barge into the graphics truck and <laughs> and throw computers onto the ground when that graphic comes up. Either that, or, either that or in McIntyre. That's, he loves it when he puts right. that up. Earl Mitchell. Oh, and how about that? Good probing pass. Swallen. He gave him that much time to cook. He's able to reach over it and connect with Chase Oliver. One, two, Chase Oliver. Nice one, two. Not fun. I can tell you that much. You step in and you look around and go, whoa, the, the speed of play mm -hmm. is. Front corner or the far corner. An attempt of a through ball. And Oof. find them that could be now. Virginia was involved in that conversation. Step there, and the communication has to come from the midfield. Sometimes Barger forgets that he's there a little bit, not get so tight. Well, in a very strategic sub, you know, he, he's the right guy for this moment when this game needs to be calmed down. And, and it speaks to the success of this program. It's a privilege to be able to bring in a player like that off the bench. So interesting move by Carlos Amuano. Has a good tactical. And is not shy at all. The best we've seen him play in years in the last couple weeks. Here he is again. So smooth. Niang. Yeah, Wake Forest hasn't played in over a fortnight. And they are looking. And they feel like it's going to happen. That's what Coach Yegley talked to us about. He said his team. And we were looking at each other like, man, Indiana may have just unlocked the secret. Brought down by Swollen. Left back, they uh, Carlos Samuano switched him with Riley Thomas. How do you think that tactical... Paris 22 again, the bottom of your screen, bottom left. Swollen skips out of some trouble. Paris does want it. And the real question for them is going to be are they actually going to be able to break through this? Because they've changed some movement up top for North Carolina. Only loss came against Virginia Tech. Now it's Wick. Has that high press in place, and Wake Forest has done it too. That both teams have created a couple of turnovers. Act level. I was certainly ready for that one against Elliott. 
control the ball the way they like to build. Swallow. Oh, and Spicer. Hives it up. Looks like Gennabacher could have got us a time on that. They didn't call it. Swollen on it. Going to get it moving. Gets Cummings. Really struggled. Opening couple of games. Three separate instances where he had gotten his team into trouble from dead balls and allowed it. Swollen on it. Escribano. Crowded out. On the sideline. He's still young and he can run all night. Swallow. He's got space. He's got an option. Garino. And vice versa. That also leans into... Individual Ackle. forward and midfield line right there. A little disjointed on the press. And this Wake Forest team can punish you. Robert Morris, nice little karate kick there. <laughs> In the <laughs> and the intention of playing Baba Yang. Swallow. Sydney Paris gets involved. Nice inserted pass. Who comes in? Replacing. You can see a lot of Jake's game in Cooper Flax. Ruel. That would be S I U E. Has some kids. So that tells you how much he loved coaching. Also, speed. Wake Forest quickly to get back. First Wake Forest playing without. Garrison Tubbs, but Travis Smith Jr. on was on the back of Cooper. Getting this game very accurately. We talked about the press. Yep. Look up. Scissor kick last year. And Bob and Yang tried to send one. Coach Jonathan Potter said they they refused to get beaten and of the 97 MLS college draft by Can. He's looking down. Battle will. Good analogy right there. there. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Yeah. Tell that to our producer. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse in the house. Mouse in the house. Expect to already be on the board right. We sit just about 90 seconds remaining in this. Of this match, 21 shots. The depth of this at nine, but. Wofford as a very talented team, and a team that either with uh, Plamano in there as well. Just saying. Category. Swallen, the double team. Three entries, Cardenas, this is his first time checking into the match. Swallen. The feet of Swallen, who did start the second half. He can be a difference maker, there's no doubt about it. On the left, he will move it to the right to Swallen. Swallen continues it to the right to Cummins. And now the Deeks trying to work some numbers down here. Oh, made some huge things happen. And Swallen in that pocket will slide it over to the right. Here they go again. Louisville holding tough in their shape. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, Louisville's going to sit in. You just, you would play in the back or the front, you say immediately the front. But uh, to make it 1 0, and of course, there's that famous graphic. You want to wait for somebody to get injured <laughs> on a play like that before you, you know, you make a call? I, I just, I don't see that. Kijima. Swallow it. And Russo on it. And that's poor pass. You put in the top 16, and you're on a seven game win streak. That's what we're talking about right now for Wake Forest. Maybe and calming the match down. Such a presence. We see him right now commanding the ball. He really settles this team down, opens up space. There's Paris on the ball. Heavy first touch. He can go. Syracuse. Here's Swallet. Swallen lifts it. Forbes got wheels. Forbes has space. 
Swallen nicks it forward. That's their tallies man, Roll Mitchell. Flag stays down. And it's pretty incredible the amount of talent that this team has at its disposal because any squad in the country would love to have one of those players' services. To my opinion, I could be wrong. <laughs> I think your eyes work just fine, Ty. <laughs> and good teams win the games they're supposed to win. And it's clear that they, they want to finish this. Gara and Swollen kind of coming into the same space. Swollen takes the ball. He's got his head up looking for Forbes on the switch. Panic station for the Deeks. They don't want to panic on the ball, but certainly Bobby Muse knows that there is not a lot of time to keep the season. But a couple of those from Silla and one from Nathan Richmond, uh, they may find their way into SC Top 10 tonight. Let's get better. That is a good quality to have. Sometimes it's been overlooked. There is Jake Swallen. He wants to get back. That lead, and he does. Sends it up QB1. to Julian Kennedy. Pocket was open. Said, all right, let me give it a ride. And we saw this team test from the outside a few times early in the first half. This looks real promising, and it is drilled in the side net. I, I, I do not have an explanation for that one. But I love the idea where Jake Swallen was going to go with it. And Jake Swallen leading the charge. Niang. Niang is through. Oh, brilliant work in a while. Think again. As Ogara swallowed. Forbes, left foot, back stick, good. He's got white as the short option. And himself, a stinging ball. Redirected. Tubbs out front. And he goes down looking for a call. And here's a slide tackle by Wallet on McDonald. Wake Forest again on the attacking third. This is deflected and in. He's pacey. Very good attacking attributes. That's a, that's a bad giveaway. Swallen skews that one in. Look who's going to take the PK. Sorry to, to interrupt you, but what a moment. Jake Swallen will take the PK. And it's money. Indiana defender Kojima trying to make some room here. Swallen with a hit. Back to Swallen. Waits off the challenge. He's got space. Gives it a hit. Defense. That's why it should be a yellow. Right. That's right. Swallen. Swallen. He can hit it. Swallen. Oh. The tournament. It's a shame that one of them has to. Swallen. Taken somewhat short, back to Swallen, changing the angle. He drives it. Swallen into a pocket. Swallen with space. Swallen with a shot off the fingertips. I would imagine, of course, they don't know the score like we do of the Clemson matches. There's a shot. 